Welcome to another Excel magic trick. Hey, this magic trick is going to be totally cool, but there's also an announcement I have to make. The book, Slaying Excel Dragons, is finally out. Now, I know the ebook already came out, but now it's out in paper. You can actually buy it and hold it in your hands. Now, you can go to any uh, bookseller that you want. Amazon has it right now, 1977. <clears throat> and I got to ask you a favor here. After posting 1,400 Excel videos for free, I need you all to do me a favor here. Come here, like it, rate it, and review it. And not just at Amazon. Wherever you see the ability to rate or review, go for it. I'd appreciate that a lot. Hey, now, let's go see our amazing magic trick. Now, I had... Our situation here is we have criteria, and we've seen this in other videos where we have March the Word, or M-A-R, and we need to match this criteria against dates. Well, dates are serial numbers. So how in the world do you do that? Well, you can use the text function, and actually I just posted a video on this uh, recently, and one of the comments showed a great alternative to this. You're not going to believe this. All right, so we want to count how many are here in March, and we can do this. We can see there's two, right? But uh, let's look at the month function and look at the problem with using the month function, and then we'll look at a great solution. Now, normally, the month is expecting a serial number. Well, in fact, all the time. But normally, when we want to count like this, we create some array formula and match it against this criteria. So I'm going to, instead of putting a single serial number, I'm going to highlight all these dates. Now I can close parentheses here, and month is great because it can look at serial numbers and tell you which month. So if I highlight this and hit F9, boom, we get 3344. Three, four, four. So there's the problem. How do we match 3 against March? So this is the reason that oftentimes the text function is used instead of the month. The month converts it to a single a digit, right? But the text function would convert it, we could convert it to uh, text like this, M-A-R, and match it directly. But watch this. Let's see what happens if we take this whole array and say, hey, month, let's go ahead and try and match it against this criteria. Well, right off the bat, we can see in the the uh, screen tip it's a serial number. That's not a serial number. That's text. So when we highlight this and hit F9, we just get a value error. It doesn't know what to do. But watch this. And uh, let me enter this and uh, put something here. Oh no, maybe it's here. Uh, Kokani007 is the person who posted that. This trick and when he posted I posted back I was like where did you learn that that's just totally amazing all he did was this one ampersand and what does that do well let's evaluate this little piece right here well as soon as you use an ampersand it converts the expression to text so really what's going to do is going to have one march so like this f9 and there it is the month function can interpret a date as text and return uh, the proper month. So it'll see the 1 March, think it's the 1st of March, and it will return 3 because March is the third month. Control Z, let's just do this. <laughs> so exciting. F9, I can't believe that. As soon as I read the post, I just immediately went over to Excel, tried it, and just says, I can't believe it's working. What a cool trick. All right, so now this here will give us a string of trues and falses. Control Z. You know, and I tried this uh, a construction like this in COUNTIF, knowing that COUNTIF can't handle an array. But you can't put this into COUNTIF because that is an array created inside the formula, and that range argument in COUNTIF can't handle it. But we can then use some product. What's so great about some product is it can one, it can handle array, right? And then it also adds. So I'm going to have to convert those trues and falses to ones and zeros. So I use double negative, And I want that equal sign to evaluate before the unitary operator double negative. So I have to put it in parentheses. Finally, I close parentheses on the sum product. And can you believe it? If I change this to a 3 right here, it totally works. And you know, if you want to prove this to yourself, here, I put, if I put 1 March, it automatically converts it, its program to convert it to a serial number. So I'm going to put an apostrophe and a 1 and a March. 
and I want to try. And then I also came down here and did it a different way. I says, OK, I'm going to test this month function and see if I can put weird text things over here and ha see if it works. So I put it a, an actual date in quotes as a formula, right? Actually, you don't have to do it that way. I think you can do it with an apostrophe, too. So those are both text. And I'm going to go equals month. And sure enough, it totally works. And it doesn't matter if you have the abbreviation or the full one. Totally awesome. What's so cool about hanging out online at uh, YouTube and uh, Mr. Excel message board is there's so many people all hanging out doing the same thing. They all know it a different way. Together we can learn all those different ways and we know a lot more. All right, we'll see you next video.